the gallery of the most memorable villains in the history of Indian cinema will be incomplete without one of the most prolific artists, Hiralal Thakur. Hiralal mostly appeared on screen in various shades of evil, often playing a wicked wazir. A lascivious man with designs on the heroine. The chief of a gang of criminals. Or a religious bigot. Today in our Not To Be Forgotten series, we talk about his long career which went through some of the major milestones of Indian cinema, from silent films in Lahore to working with KL Segal in Calcutta to sharing screen space with stars like Sanjeev Kumar, Madhubala, Dharmendra, Rajesh Khanna and Amitabh Bachchan. Hiralal Thakur was born on 14th March 1912 in Lahore, which was part of undivided India. His father Sundardas Thakur had a family business but died very early. His mother Parvati Devi was a homemaker and brought him up. He had a brother Pannalal and a younger sister but she died very early. During his growing days, cinema was an attractive medium of art though considered highly taboo by society. Like everyone around him, he was also interested in cinema. He was a good-looking man with a well-built physique and a robust voice. <laughs> and had a hidden desire to work in cinema. As luck would have it, A.R. Kardar spotted him on a cricket playground and the rest is history. This was also the time when cinema was evolving and experimenting with its stories. Fantasy and stunt movies were slowly becoming popular. Hiralal's physique was apt for such movies, where the hero was larger than life. He started working in Air Kardar's silent film Savdar Jang as well as in G.K. Mehta's Daughters of Today. Daughters of Today released in 1928 and laid the foundation of the film industry in Lahore. It was Air Kardar's Safdar Jang which released in 1930 that kick-started his career. Hiralal did a few more films like Farebi Shehzada in 1930 and Bhattakta Joban in 1931 with Air Kardar's United Players Corporation. A few characters which he played in his early days like a bald one-eyed man in the 1931 film Wandering Dancer and General Mohammad Tariq in the 1936 film Dino Dunya enchanted the viewers. His first talkie film was Pavitra Ganga in 1932 directed by J.K. Nanda in which audiences were introduced to his robust voice and dialogue delivery. Soon, a craft which started off as a hobby became his profession. He moved to Calcutta for better prospects. The technology of sound in cinema had just begun and singer-actors were cast in lead roles. This was the time when Hiralal was also establishing his footing in cinema and started experimenting with the art. During his stay in Calcutta, he appeared as a lead actor as well as in character and villain roles. He knew his strengths and limitations. He also understood the symbiotic relationship an actor has with his audience and slowly moved from lead roles to playing character roles. While in Calcutta, he joined new theatres where he worked in close association with filmmaker Hemachandra Chundar in films like Wapas in 1943. <laughs> And Mary Bahan in 1944. His films Wapas established him as a character actor. 
He also worked with Bimal Roy in Hamrai in 1945 and Anjan Gad in 1948. He was also part of Debaki Bose mythological film Sita in 1934 starring Prithviraj Kapoor and Durga Khote. Not much of his cinematic work during his Calcutta days is available. However, the archival materials show that he worked with all the top directors and production houses. In one of the interviews given to a magazine, he revealed that he became the real actor while acting in new theaters films under Hemachandra Chunder. It was in new theaters that the struggling actor in him became an actor. By the mid 1940s, Bombay was becoming the hub of Hindi cinema. And in 1949, he also shifted base from Calcutta to Bombay. His entry into the Bombay film industry was now that of an experienced actor who was ready to rule the screen. Hiralal got a big break in Bhagwan Das Verma's Badal in 1951. Mustafa, ab mujhe tamam vaqiyat ki tala Maharaj tak pahunchani padi. The role of Jaisin became so popular. that he appeared as a villain in most of the movies that year such as aram kya kaha ho ja lekin yaad rakhna agar tumne kabhi mujhe dhoka dene ki koshish ki to main tumhe aur tumhare sare khandan ko maliya mate kar dunga nagina wo kaidi jahan hai wahan par iske bhi nahi pahunch sakte jab tak aapka kaidi shamlal mere paas hai aap phansi par nahi latak sakte sagai main chandni ko hasil karne ke liye अपने खून की होली भी खेल सकता हूं सरकार एंड फूलों के हार विद द स्टार्ट ऑफ द डेकेड ही हैड एस्टैब्लिश्ड हिमसेल्फ एज अ स्वाव ऑन स्क्रीन विलन ऑफ द टाइम हिज डिसिप्लिन लाइफ एंड डेडिकेशन टू द आर्ट इंस्पायर्ड डायरेक्टर एस पी ईरानी टू कोलैबोरेट विद हिम इन मोस्ट ऑफ हिज फिल्म्स एंड प्रोवाइडेड अ फुल कैनवास ऑफ सिनेस्टर कैरेक्टर्स इन फिल्म्स लाइक Kedi number 911 in 1959 kya farsi ganga jo chadi thi utri nahi abhi tak dhamkane se shanti nahi milegi maa ke man ko barood in 1960 mere bete acche ladke raasta chalte mobile se baat nahi karte ye badmaas bachcho ko utha le jaate hain umar kaid in 1961 no her lal तुम जो उम्र कैद की सजा भुगत रहे हो इसलिए इसलिए कि जुर्म मैंने किया है एन निशान इन 1965 शराब तो खैर बुरी चीज है ही लेकिन सबसे बुरी चीज है इसे पीकर अपने होश और आवाज खो देना His popularity grew to such a magnitude that audiences would leap to their feet when he appeared on screen in the film Shabnam in 1964 Hira Lal's name as guest appearance in the film had the audience waiting in anticipation for the actor to grace the screen. They were finally satisfied by his appearance in the most delightful climax, which was shot in jiwa color, making the experience even more worthwhile. Though he appeared with all the stars of the time, his association with Sheikh Mukhtiar is worth mentioning. They both brought out the best in each other while performing together. The duo was appreciative of each other as actors and appeared in many movies together. Yehi awaaz aayegi. Badal mera beta. Agar hum tumhare jism ke bajaye Badal ke jism ke tukre tukre kar de to phir kya awaaz aayegi? He was popular with masses as well as with the classes. He was part of films made by directors like Akko Manmohan Sabir, Nanu Bhai Vakil, Jal Balewala, whose films were highly popular with the common people. He also acted in films made by prominent names like Amya Chakravarti, B R Chopra, Manmohan Desai, H S Ravel, Ramanand Sagar, K Asif, Shakti Samanta, Mohan Sehgal, and Kishore Sahu. His association with director Bimal Roy continued and he acted in the letters films like Do Bhiga Zameen in 1953, Prem Patra in 1962, Parivar in 1956 and Bandini in 1965. Mr. Mesh Prashad, ye secret kaidi hai na? Ji ha. Yahan kya kar rahi hai? 
जी ये यहाँ टीबी की बीमार की सेवा कर रही डॉक्टर अब मरीज का क्या हाल है कुछ दिनों से बुखार नहीं है ऐसे भाई जब इस मरीज को कल सदर हॉस्पिटल तो भिजवा दिया जाए मैं सिविल सर्जन से कह के इसके ब्लड का इंतजाम करा दूंगा Hiralal acted in films made in all the genres including mythology social science fiction action and fantasy He appeared in nearly 250 films He completed his 100th film with Kishore Kumar's Dur Gagan ki Chhao mein in 1964 at the age of 52 In Hum Sab Chor Hain in 1973 he also appeared in a double role Yahi to main tumse kehne aaya hu mere bhai जिस काम में घबराहट हो जान का खतरा हो उस काम को तुम छोड़ क्यों नहीं देते However, looking at his filmography, it appears that fantasy was his favorite genre. छोड़ो, इस कोहले नायाब को मैंने दस हजार अशोकियन देकर खरीदा है। सुबह उसको दीवाना मशहूर कर दिया जाएगा और पत्थरों से उसकी खातिर की जाएगी। Some of his iconic films include औरत, डंका Pooja, Prisoner of Golconda. You are the mother of the rebel. Tell us his hiding gang. Where is he and his companions? Hamlet. वो अक्सर नाटक से दिलचस्पी लेते हैं। क्यों ना कोई नाटक ही उनके सामने खेला जाए? तीन भाई, याहूदी की लड़की, अरब का सौदागर, चंद्रकांता, गुमनाम, लुटेरा, Love and Murder. यकीन, इसकी होंठ पर मोहब्बत के गीत. और दिल में मर्डर का प्लान हो उसकी जुबान का क्या भरोसा दीवाना आंखें अमर प्रेम अरे होंगे कई होंगे पुराने यार। राजा जानी मेरे दिल की प्यास तो बुझा दो कालिया अरेबियन नाइट्स महबूबा मिस पंजाब मेल डॉक्टर जेड एंड अली बाबा इज्जत की ठीक आका का रुख मानना कहीं की सबसे बड़ी इज्जत है और अगर अब भी तूने मेरा कहा ना माना तो फिर हमें जबरदस्ती करने का हक हो ओवर द कोर्स ऑफ हिस्स लॉन्ग करियर ही वॉज ऑल्सो ए पार्ट ऑफ द पंजाबी फिल्म इंडस्ट्री He appeared in films like Soni Mehwal, Mera Punjab, Mubarak, Mutiyar, Sapni, Dharti Veera Di, Dulla Bhatti, Dara Singh's Nanak Dukhiya Sab Sansar, Dhyanu Bhagat, and Madalaadla. Towards the latter part of his acting journey, Hira Lal appeared in minor roles like in Kahani Kismat Ki. In 1973, shh. This is the first time I'm here. So, Miss Murthy, go and get the police. Go. International Crook in 1974. No, 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 no. Please, please, Mr. Tiger Singh. I didn't mean to say that. One more than one in 1976, and Katilon's Katil in 1981. Malcolm, 20 years have gone. You have been in search of your children. Now, do you want to say something? Go. 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 देखिए तो चलते चलते आपके पाव के छाले भी फूट पड़े हैं। One of his last films was वक्त वक्त की बात in 1982, directed by Santosh Saroj, released a few months before his demise, where he was credited for special appearance. बताओ वो हीरे कहाँ हैं? जो तुम हांगकांग से लेकर चले थे? हीरे? हीरो से मेरा क्या आवाज़? बंदा पड़ गया। मैं तो अपनी महबूबा से मिलने हांगकांग गया था। He also played a role in K. Asif's ill-fated Love and God in 1986, which was released years after his death. Hiralal was known to invest a lot of thought and energy in the authenticity of his portrayals through dialogue delivery. Your Honour, सरकार मुलजम किशोर कुमार पर धर्म देवी नाम की एक बुरी मासूम और नेहत्ती औरत के बुजुर्गाना कत्ल का इल्जाम लगाती है। हर साल दिवाली की रात लोगों के लिए खुशियों का पैगाम लेकर आती है मगर आपकी मुस्कुराती हुई जिंदगी में आंसुओं की बरसात लाती है ऐसा क्यों कॉस्ट्यूम्स 
accessories and body language. He always brought newness to his character. He believed that as an actor, one has to create the inner world of the character being portrayed on screen. Exploring wicked characters on screen helped him to portray some of his most famous roles. Director Sahar, can we come inside? Namaste Seth Ji. Namaste. Sit. My children's life is my own karma. My own karma. We will always end this for you. And with this, you are your world. You are your mind. You are your mind. According to him, a villain represents the dark side of a human being. With circumstances creating good and bad characters. क्या तुम अपने दुश्मन को नहीं मारोगे? दुश्मन को तलवार से नहीं, एहसान से मारते हैं बादशाह सलामत। In most of his films, the villainous characters towards the end show remorseful and apologetic behavior. A few characters played by him have been etched permanently in the realm on the screen villainy. One of them is his distinctive bald look. Very early in his career, he was cast to play a bald one-eyed character in the 1931 film Wandering Dancer, for which he shaved his head to portray the character with authenticity. This look of his required him to sacrifice his hair a few more times in his long career, like in Al Hilal. हम दूसरी दुनिया आबाद कर लेंगे, दूसरी दुनिया आबाद कर लेंगे। एक के बाद एक। देखा मंगल, एक गंदी मछली सारे तालाब को गंदा कर देती। एंड रूप की रानी, चोरों का राजा। कमांडर इसलिए गिरा कि तेरा चरित्र भी गिर चुका है। तेरा ध्यान हमारे चरणों पर नहीं, किसी नौजवान पुरुष पर था। in Kismat in 1968, he played the gang leader Lopez with sinister facial expressions. He expressed menace through his eyes glaring each time he had to threaten a character in the film. Adding to the mood of the scene, he would speak in a rather low timbre, used to demonstrate his dreadful character. कॉर्पियन के दिल में ऐसे जज्बात का जागना हमारे लिए खतरनाक साबित हो सकता है मिस्टर चैंग। बेहतर यही है कि इन जज्बात को उठने से पहले कुचल दिया जाए। In contrast, when he played Kharga, an assassin in Leader, in 1964, he made the subtle use of a Rampuri dagger to intimidate a character in a scene. In 1977's Ranga or Raja, he grew an impressive moustache that gave a younger Joginder a run for his money while playing villain. On a personal front, he married Darpan Rani in Lahore, who supported him in the various phases of his life and career. They had five sons, Kamal, Krishan, Inder, Prem, Ajay and a daughter. Of his children, Kamal and Krishan went on to become actors and directors. Inderlal Thakur was a successful model and actor in Nadia Ke Paar in 1982. Tragically, Inderlal Thakur along with his family perished in the tragic Air India Flight 182 accident on 23rd June 1985. The infamous on-screen villain was known to be an amiable man in real life. He loved Urdu shayari and painting. He treated his fans as well as his colleagues with kindness. He was also known to be devout Punjabi who believed that the day should start with taking the Lord's name. Hiralal wanted to die with his boots on and kept portraying various characters, entertaining people through his acting and forceful presence. He amused millions of film-loving people in the movies, even if he appeared in a few scenes. 
this star villain succumbed to a heart attack in Bombay on 27th June 1982. The history of Indian cinema is made up of each contributing member's journey. As we have seen, Hiralal's journey gloriously illustrates the many transitions in Indian cinema's history. At each transition, he and the industry came through despite the anxieties caused by the changes. This video is an attempt to commemorate the memory of this versatile, skillful actor who illuminated the screen with his every performance. Cinemazi requests viewers to go down the memory lane and watch the innumerable characters played by him as true tribute to the vast contribution made by him in the Indian cinema heritage.